Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create a seamless multi-photo post on Instagram. So if you've ever seen me do concert recaps, this is what I do a lot because one, you can include a lot of photos using, you know, the new Instagram feature where you can swipe, but also because you can actually include like the full size, full resolution photo and not have to crop anything. So before I get started with this video, uh, this video is actually sponsored by Wondershare Photofire. Photofire is a photo editing software and it makes it really easy to edit your photos using a bunch of other features they have. So they actually have three Three different main features so it acts as a photo editor a photo cutter so removing backgrounds and that sort of stuff but my favorite feature a photo eraser so you can actually erase a lot of watermarks and remove objects uh, from pictures so if you want to learn more about photo fire and want to download it you can check the description below with that being said let's get into the video So I'm actually going to be showing you two different ways because I know this is a very popular method. I'm going to show you uh, that method first, but I, I do it personally a different way. So basically how other people do it, usually it's to split one image into multiple posts is they'll go into file open, they'll go to desktop, select the image. So usually it's a landscape image, right? Because you want to split that into many different ones. They'll go to window, new guide layout, and you want to select the number and select it to how many photos you want to split up into, obviously. Um, and then you want to make sure width and gutter is at zero. Uh, so here if i want to just split into two images i could do that and press ok and now you want to go into the splice tool so you can right click right here usually it's the crop tool and now what you want to do is press slices from guides and then it'll split into two so you can see zero one zero two right there and basically you just want to export it but sometimes instagram has some crop issues and you know you can't put the full image on so that's what my part is for you know it's the better part but yeah you can go to crop as well and then just set it as 12 by 5 I think that's the Instagram crop and then you can press this and then export it. So let's just do that. So there's the two photos right here. And we're going to post that on Instagram later. Uh, you'll see, but I'm going to go to my method and my method is better. If you want to put multiple photos, this is just one photo. If you want to do multiple photos, my mine's much better, you know? So my method, you still have to use these uh, guidelines, uh, but you won't have to do any of the stuff I just showed you. So I'm going to press file new and I'm going to use the resolution 1080 by 1350 because it takes up the most screen real estate. And so when you scroll down um, or when somebody scrolls down on their feed, your photo kind of appears for longer because it's higher up this way. When you have a landscape photo, it takes up like less space. So this gives you more screen real estate. And it's just a little trick that I have personally. Uh, so I'm going to press create right here. So now I'm just going to place the images. So file place, I'm going to use probably three, four images, I guess. So you can see here, this is what I tried to do before. I actually posted this by the way. So I use this little trick a lot. So here I'm going to just place it and you can see there's a white space. This is going to be the next photo. So we're actually going to put a guideline right there. So if you don't see this, you want to press control H and it'll appear. So we're going to place the next image. So let's just use this one. I should have chose a better image because the last two actually look very similar. So my bad. So there we go. We're going to export this. So now you want to rasterize this photo right here so you can delete it. So rasterize it, select this. So select the rectangular marquee tool and press delete. And now press control T and just move it to the side. And now you can delete this photo. And now basically you just want to move this guideline over here and do the same thing to the next photo. So you can do that with this photo. It's very similar. That's what I was talking about. I'll probably just make this one black and white or something. Then you can export this. So now you want to go ahead and, you know, delete this and then move this. And then you can delete this. And you can go on and on and on and on. Uh, but the only issue with this is that sometimes the last photo you want to use won't actually fit. So with this one, um, this is the Instagram post that I did. Luckily, it ended up properly. So usually it happens if all the photos are the same resolution and there's 10 different photos or 10 different of these, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So usually it ends up perfect for me because I take a lot of my photos in portrait and all that sort of stuff, but sometimes it won't. So let's just drag this onto here. So let's just rasterize this as well. Let's export it. So I believe the next photo will fit perfectly if it's the same size. So now you want to right click rasterize it if you haven't yet, delete this. And then there you go. So with my method, uh, it's actually a little bit more unpredictable. Uh, you have to do the math. But the thing with me is when I see something cool, I try to recreate it myself. So this is how I uh, recreated it when I saw other people do it. So we're going to get one more image. So let's just take this one. I actually didn't post this one. I don't think so. Maybe on Twitter. Um, if you guys want to go in the description and retweet this uh, thread that I had, Roy Woods actually uh, retweeted it. I'm a cool guy. So there you go. Oh, it's a bit cut off, but I guess that's fine. So part of it's cut off. No biggie, no biggie. I think if you continue to do this to like the 10th post, then it'll work properly. 
and I'll show you the first post and I'll show you the second post and how it looks like and how it works and this isn't a scam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it helped you out. Um, yeah, if you did, hit the thumbs up button. I'm giving away a preset pack uh, every single video, so comment below if you want one. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.